teaching you how to use an index. An index is a list of names or topics and it tells you where they are located in a certain book. For example, I have two books with me here today. Step one would be to determine what book you want to use. Um, I'm going to be using the book called Butterflies and Moths. So once you've done step one, find your book, you're going to turn to the very back of the book. This is where your index is located. There you'll see a list of names and or topics in alphabetical order. And then out to the side is page numbers. Some only have one, some have multiple page numbers. And this just means that that word or topic comes up multiple times throughout the book. Uh, this one actually tells you that the number of page numbers in bold indicate that there's a photograph on that page of that topic. So, so for example, um, step three would be to find your what you want to look up. Uh, say I want to learn more about eating, how butterflies eat. I would go down, find eating, and there's three page numbers listed. 11, 14, and 44. Step four would be to go to that page number and look up, and then you can start reading about your topic, or eating in this case. And once you've done that, you can go back and find another page or another topic that you want to look up in your index. And in this textbook, um, it's pretty cool. It has a two index, or it has one for names, so it's more specific since this is a larger book. Um, so if you want to find the name of a person, you can look it up there. Or it has a subject index, and that way you can be more specific with what topic you want to look up. Um, um, but those are just two of the books with indexes. Usually, uh, indexes only in nonfiction textbooks. And so today we have talked about how to use an index. You'll locate which book you want to use and then turn to the back of the book, find your index, and then locate the topic that you want to read up on and turn to that page and start reading on your topic. And that's how to use an index.